Rex is the programming language that I deal with the most as a mainframe system programmer. It's fairly easy to read and write, it's not case sensitive, it's not indentation sensitive, and it's powerful. A Rex program is called a Rex exec. What I'm going to demonstrate is a Rex exec running in my TSO address space. In the foreground, and I'm going to do it explicitly, meaning from the command line in ISPF. Let's just get right into it. In previous videos, we've run a batch job to import a raw list of garbage pill kid names, and we took that list, and we used ISPF's editor to format it into something easier to parse with, you guessed it, Rex. Anything between a slash asterisk and an asterisk slash is a comment. This first one identifies the program as a Rex exec. The second is just the TSO command that I'll copy and paste to the command line in order to run it. These next three lines in quotes allocate our data set, read it, and close it. This line allocates a file called NDD using the data set containing the list of garbage pill kids names that we formatted in the last video. The execio command will read all the lines in the NDD file and create a set of variables assigned to the stem name GPK name. This is similar to creating an array in other languages. It's basically going to read the data set line by line and create a variable for each one. For example, GPK name.0 will be the first name, GPK name.1 will be the second, and so on. Using the free command after the file has been read and closed is good practice. The say statement will prompt for input, and the pull statement will take that input and place it in the variable input name. Now that we've got a name to search for, let's start searching. We'll use a simple do loop, set i to 1, and begin at the first stem variable. We're going to parse each variable, or each line in the data set, and split it into pieces. I hate to call these pieces variables because the line itself is a variable, so we'll call these tokens. I can't recall a garbage pill kid name that has more than three pieces to it, but I've gone up to four just to be safe. If the input name equals any of the tokens in each garbage pill kid name, these pipes are the OR operator and the commas are used for line continuation, then return the entire variable, that is, say, gpkname.i, to the screen. Where do we go? Well, let's give this a shot. I'll copy and paste this command to the command line. Enter your name, fool. Okay, well, let's try Phil. I'm a pretty big fool. Ooh, foul Phil. Mouth Phil. Phil Grimm. Phil Swill. All right, well, let's try it again. Let's try Bob. Busted Bob. Shish K Bob, Clobbered Bob, Dimball Bob. Will the fun ever end? Here's a closer look at the code. Of course, much more could have been added. Error checking that the input isn't null, checking for redundant names, using built in functions like substring or subword or translate. We could have gotten real fancy, but oftentimes, short and sweet is the best way to explain code. Thank you for watching these mainframe video tutorials. Please comment or subscribe or do whatever the hell you want. Additional material for each of these videos is available at my website, philipu.com slash mainframe. But we're not done yet. Oh,